Hi there, my name is Ellen and I'll be correcting this essay for you. Happy to see that you have uh, sent us an essay for correction. Let's see how we can help you with our feedback today. Your topic is prevention is better than cure. Researching and treating diseases is too costly, so it would be better to invest in preventative measures. Let's see. It is maintained that investigation and curing regarding on the type of illness could be a more compelling way rather than it has been taken measures depending on ultimately underlying culprits. To a certain extent, conducting research and treating diseases may be an instrumental vehicle. However, I agree with the concern voiced in the question. Okay, so this was nice. Okay, I thought that it was good. Um, however, in this part of the paragraph, you had a lot of vocabulary that felt unnatural. Um, investigation and curing regarding on the type of illness. That's not an expression that we would use in English. We don't say regarding on the type of illness. Uh, we, I understand that you're trying to rephrase researching and treating, but still, I don't feel, I don't feel like these words were, uh, appropriate rephrasing. Um, and we also wouldn't say could be more compelling way. We would say could be more compelling than, uh, what did you say here? It has been taken measures depending, I don't understand this. I, I'm afraid I can't even rephrase it because grammatically and lexically, it just has a lot of errors. So what's happening is that it's kind of creating a strain rather than it has been taken measures so grammatically, this is not a tense. It has been taken measures. You can't say that. Depending on ultimately underlying culprits. Yeah, I mean, we don't refer to underlying, underlying causes of a disease as culprits. So again, there's grammar, have, um, which is creating a problem, but there's also vocabulary, which is creating a problem. So I want you to be careful with that. Let's uh, continue. On the one hand, although studying and working towards a solution by determining remedies can be exorbitant, mm, can be an exorbitant and long-term procedure, all right, you can't use although and nevertheless in one sentence. You have to pick one of them only. So, although studying and working towards a solution by determining remedies can be exorbitant, Okay, an exorbitant and long-term procedure. The striking benefit is enlarging the knowledge and experience about it. All right. Uh, I don't like enlarging the knowledge. Um, and when you have the it here, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about solutions? Are you talking about remedies? Are you talking about procedures? So it's really unclear. Uh, because you have so many nouns here that this it you're referring to isn't clear, okay? To cite an example, should the survey is conducted comprehensively around it, it can be obtained a multitude of statistics. Grammar is an issue here. Uh, so this doesn't work, should the survey is conducted. And then... We wouldn't say it can be obtained in multiple statistics. We would say a multitude of statistics can be obtained. Like the definite characteristic features of illness, the concrete effects on people depending on each individual's immune system. And, okay, this is, uh, so a multitude of statistics can be obtained like the definite characteristic features of illness, the concrete effect on people depending on each individual's immune system and acceptable remedies. All right, you have a lot of stuff happening in this sentence. I already told you, you lost me at some point. It's also really, really too long. Take a look at this. It's about four lines long. A good rule of thumb is that when you get into the third line of your sentence, that's probably your clue that uh, it's too long, okay? Um, it's very easy to begin making mistakes when you have sentences so long, and it's very easy to, um, to lose your reader, okay? So please be careful about this. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, 
uh, whenever there is any demand for it, the vast variety of these data could potentially support people who have encountered such difficulties. Other paradoxical side, it should be tend to lay great emphasis on the preventative measures regarding the utmost importance of reasonable reasons. Okay, I'm afraid you really lost me here. I don't like this here on the other paradoxical side. It's not natural English yet again. Um, we don't say this, it should be tend to lay great emphasis. This is the problem, it should be tend. Okay? Uh, and this, too, doesn't really carry a lot of meaning. Utmost importance of reasonable reasons. I mean, none of that is really natural English. Uh, yeah, of course we say utmost importance, but we would never say reasonable reasons, okay? Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's a sentence that really is unclear, and I'm not really sure what you're trying to say. Let's keep going. The clear illustration would be it's help for people in staying healthy. Because being aware of what must be done against the sickness is rudimentary criterion. All right, again, rudimentary is okay. Criterion needs to go. Being aware of what must be done against the sickness is rudimentary before facing it. Okay. For instance, it is imperative to spend... No. It is imperative to have a healthy lifestyle and possess, we don't say sturdy habits, this is not a natural expression, uh, how about positive habits, which include, without the S, eating, sleeping, we don't say sleeping robustly, and using antiseptics adequately. Moreover, the more intensifying immune system they have, the less variety of diseases they will meet. All right, good attempt at using this advanced grammar, I'm glad you did it, but again, uh, it's not natural English to say intensifying immune system, okay? Uh, what you could have said here is the more the immune system is strengthened, the less susceptible to disease it will be. That would have been a natural English expression, okay? All right, so now for your conclusion. In conclusion, while I admit that studying and determination of remedies for illness is inevitable, get rid of indicator, notwithstanding, I strongly believe that another option could be extremely effective. Dealing with the problems based on the latter's reasons, I'm not sure what the latter is now, would be considerably, considerably productive to fulfill duties to the fullest. Okay, so what I found in this essay is um, a real... Um, uh, concerted effort to use high level vocabulary, a uh, variety of vocabulary. Unfortunately, a lot of this didn't really work out for you because what was created was language that didn't feel natural at all and it didn't carry meaning in a lot of places. The meaning was kind of incoherent. And so I would like to uh, advise you to work on um, improving the accuracy of more simple grammar, of more simple vocabulary, make sure you're getting those right, and then as you progress, move on to maybe some of this more uh, advanced kind of language, okay? So you need to uh, simplify a little bit and get that right first, okay? Um, take a look at the online course. I think you might find what's in there to be very helpful. You'll get expressions, and you'll get structure and you'll get um you know lots of help to make you write sentences that are clear that are advanced and will help you get the score you need okay so take a look at that i think it's a good choice for you so thanks for sending this in and i want to wish you tons of luck